Alright, so if you're unaware of what's happening with Ive right now, basically they're getting a lot of hate at the moment for apparently cheating their way to success. Yeah. This all started when it was revealed that Kakao Entertainment, which is Ive's parent company, have been using the Facebook page called Idol Lab as a way to promote their groups. And the way they promote their groups is by using the counter viral strategy. What's that? That is basically a strategy where companies would post a lot of negative and controversial content about their group in order to go viral. So yeah, this page would pretty much tackle all the controversial topics around K-pop and would also spread misinformation surrounding the topic. But the twist is they would only do this to the groups outside of their companies. Meanwhile, the groups that are under their company would mainly get the positive content. This whole thing became even more obvious, especially after I've debuted, because they would target main competitors such as Los Seraphim, New Jeans, Itzy, and so on by posting controversial and negative content about them. And in those posts, they would also compare them with I've to basically try and portray I've as the better group. And obviously, this whole thing became a big deal because, first of all, Idolab was a pretty big page. And, oh yeah, I'm saying uh, was because it have been deleted now, and Kakao is also uh, currently under investigation now for this, but for copyright infringement. But yeah, back to the topic. Idolab was a big page. It had 1.3 million followers, something like that. And you know, a big page like that showing favoritism, a big page like that being owned by a company but acting like they're a privately owned Facebook page, a big page like that spreading misinformation is literally criminal. Not not criminal in a joking way, but in literally you're a fucking criminal. Wait. Second of all, Kakao, if you don't know, is one of the biggest companies in Korea. Not just in the K-pop industry, but mainly outside of the K-pop industry. Like, they're big. Big. They practically own everything. They own Melon, which is one of K-pop's top music chart. They own several media articles. And obviously, they also own several K-pop companies, such as... ISC Entertainment, which is home to the boys in A-Pank, EDAM Entertainment, which is home to IU and Wuzu, High Up Entertainment, which is home to Stacy, and finally, Starship Entertainment, which is home to Monster X, WGSN, and the main star of today's episode, IVE. So yeah, now that you have a better understanding of what's happening right now with IVE, let's talk. Alright, so let's just get straight into it, right? The question that everybody is asking. Did I've cheated their way to success? No. Dumbass. Like, what, what, no, what the fuck? What are we doing here? Are we just going to sit here and act like I've didn't release three bangers this year? Are we just going to sit here and act like they don't have over two million album sales? Are we just going to sit here and act like they didn't dominate all the charts this year? Yeah, that's right. They didn't just dominate Melon. They dominate YouTube Music. Ginny, Flow, Spotify, Buzz, all that shit. What? Like, bro, come on, bro. What are we doing here, bro? Stop this shit, bro. This shit is pathetic, bro. Like, this is just another pathetic attempt from bitter rival fans to try and discredit our success. Because they're confused. Uh, why are why are I so successful? There must be a big mind blowing secret reason behind it, bro. Just accept the fact that I deserves all the success they're getting right now, because they have great songs and their members are talented. That's it. The thing is, the hate and criticism they're getting right now would be justified if they actually released bad songs. Same, I would be pissed too if they released bad songs and still chart. But, that's not the case here though, is it? <laughs> like, what are we, what, we were writing history now? That's what we're doing? Like, stop this shit, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Having Kakao backing you up is definitely a privilege. And it definitely played a part in their success. But, it's nothing more than that. It played a part in their success, period. No less, no more. It didn't play a big part, nor is it the main factor to their success right now. If being under Kakao is such a privilege, if being under Kakao is such a game changer that you will be guaranteed 40 music show wins, you will be guaranteed perfect all kills, left, right, and center, 
you will be guaranteed success, then tell me. No disrespect, but tell me. Where's Stacy at? Exactly. And you know, I see this a lot with rookie girl group stands. For some reason, all they do is try and discredit each other's success. New Jeans fans will say Ive is only successful because of Wan Young and Eugene. I fans will say New Jeans is only successful because of Hype. And then La Seraphim fans will say Ive is only successful because of Kakao. You know, it's basically a never ending game of who's more privileged. I said never ending because if your logic is if a group have some kind of privilege then that's automatically the only reason to why they are successful then it really is never ending. Because if that's your logic, they're all privileged, you dumb fuck. So what, does that mean every one of them are successful because of dot 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 insert privilege? No. Look, privilege will always play a part, but it will never be the main reason. It will never be the main factor. If that's the case, then every group that debuts under hype would be as successful as New Jeans. Every group that debuts with X survival show contestants would be as successful as La Seraphim. Every group that is under under Kakao Entertainment would be as successful as I've. If privilege is such a main factor, then that would be the case. But, that's not the case though, is it? Like, why can't you guys come to the fact that New Jeans, La Seraphim, and I've are all successful because they earned it. Why can't you just agree to that, bro? Fucking hell. Welcome to Tweets of Shame, a new section in Beautiful Talk where I'll be shaming uh, tweets or comments that deserves to be shamed. I always thought something was off. Steak was gaining major success and then out of nowhere their success level declined after Rive debuted. Steak was gaining major success and then out of nowhere their success level declined after Rive Day. But still I think G Idol, Itzy, Lustrofim and New Jeans are better than Live because they worked hard to get their success and two groups even lost members because of Ive and two groups even lost members because and two groups even lost members because of Ive. 2.7k people agreed to this comment, bro. I don't even need to give you a reason why this comment is so fucking dumb. But 2.7k people like this comment, which means they agree to this comment. Which means we're fucked. We're fucked, bro. It is not at all fair for IDLE and Lystrofem. IDLE literally lost their best dancer and performer through a false bullying scandal and the members were so hurt by this. Especially Shuwa. All because of Kakao. No wonder Yuna being loved before Ives debut. Now getting a lot of hate. Wait a minute it's the whole ga Urum thing. Holy fuck. Were they the ones who spread the shit about Sujin and Garam? I'm going berserk I swear to god. Apparently Kakao was also making the ga Urum and Sujin situations worse. Uh, okay bro. Okay what? You're acting like the main reason to why Sujin got kicked out. To why Garam got kicked out. To why Yuna is getting hate is because of Kakao. Yes, they provide the articles. Yes, they provide the misinformation. But at the end of the day, who's believing in it? Who's sharing it? Who's eating it up? Who's reacting to it? Who's actually doing the hating part? You guys. So, in the future, please tank twice before commenting shit like this. Like, the main reason to why all those tanks happen is because of you, dumbass. Like, bro, you should know better. Kakao and every other media is out there. That's just what they do. They spread misinformation and over-exaggerate things to get clicks. But guess what? You're just too lazy to do your own research. Until this day, by commenting all this, proves that you didn't learn shit from the Garam case. You didn't learn shit from any case. One of the main reasons Garam got kicked out is because you guys, for some fucking reason, likes to spread misinformation and choose to over-exaggerate things. But guess what? That's literally what you're doing right now. 3,000 articles, bro. Really? I've only became successful because of Kakao. Really? Kakao is the sole reason behind Garam and Sujin getting kicked out, behind Itzy Yuna getting hate. Really? 
I've cheated their way to success. Really? Come on, bro. I'm just disappointed. I'm I'm just disappointed to be honest with you. Like do better. So basically, what I want you guys to learn from today's beautiful talk is one, I does not deserve any of the hate they're getting right now. All right? It's not on them. It's all on Kakao. So if you want to hate on somebody, hate on Kakao. Okay? Two, I'm talking to the rookie girl group stands out there. All right? Stop trying to discredit each other's success. Okay? It's fucking pathetic. It's weird. And it's, it's just dumb. All right? And finally, please... Stop spreading misinformation. Please stop over-exaggerating things. Alright? The truth is that I've cheated their way to success. No. Like, oh my fucking god. How is this even a discussion in the first place? I'm done, bro.